What's up, y'all? It's your boy DC The Truth. Um, let me cut this off. Um, for you guys that don't know, if you follow uh, 5150, I um, I'm gonna put the link into it into the description for another uh, small YouTuber, or whatever. I know there's a lot of those, uh, black YouTubers who don't do this enough. I want any, any anybody that follows uh, Zoe Williams, uh, Corey Holcomb, please uh, click the link in the description of what I'm going to be talking about. This guy actually took his time, chopped up the video or whatever, and put the most important segment in that show, what I'm going to talk about now. Now, basically, if anybody, Corey Holcomb, we're going to start off by saying this. Corey Holcomb is one of my favorite underrated comedians. Along with others such as Marvin Hanna, um, the great, um, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, um, think of his name right now. He was another great underrated comedian. Um, the guy to say the more of the story is, you know, um, that guy, I can I cannot think, but if y'all know, legal links is coming. Anyway. You know, sometimes when I'm watching the 50 and 150 show, you know, they, they drift from top to top. So I, I didn't really catch exactly how everything was uh, had, had, had brought on. Because the beginning of the show, everybody was getting along. Um, it just recently, I guess Zoe been basically, uh, t you know, just asking Corey, like, you know, you say you're going to do this and that. But what about uh when you ran up on Stephen A. Smith? I guess Corey just got triggered and wanted to just air out dirty laundry on Zoe. Corey, in this situation here, like I say, I'm not going to get into detail. I want y'all to really see the video for yourself. But Corey, in this situation here, I mean, buddy, I mean, you, you, you're wrong to do something like that. And this coming from a big time fan. Somebody go to almost every one of your shows every time you come down here to Atlanta or whatever. I support you, but I, I, I can't get with this. Okay. We know, you know, Corey have did some borderline. It, 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 it could go either way. Some borderline like foul. We, we don't know maybe the situation with Grady. Uh, you only getting one side of the story. I like to hear two sometimes. So, you know, the shit with Ari Spears, I'm like, okay. That's whatever. But, you know, you sit there and now you're trying to make the thing, you know, about money. Basically, Zoe, if you guys know, if you've been following the 5150 show since Foxhole, you know Zoe and D have been there. Like, this for Corey. And, you know, as of recently, it's like he's been popping shots at some of his own um, cast members. And I'm like, damn. Do you realize these motherfuckers being with you from the beginning? Half of Zoe Williams fan base that, that, that think intellectually, they came from, uh, uh, half of your fan base came from Zoe Williams. It's not including me. So, of course, Zoe being on the show, you know, I, I, I grown to, to like him, like, especially now the way the, the way the show is, like, once you lost Bobby, you look like a lot of the uh, members you don't lost on the show. Now I see. They probably weren't even a problem. It was you, my nigga. That's on everything. I mean, this you know, this coming from somebody that's been, you know, I'm I'm, I'm a big Core Hogan fan, but I like man that, that 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 this behavior you displayed on the show, man. I mean, this let's keep it a hundred, my nigga. That that was foul, nigga. You was out of place. Zoe ain't the one to do like that. Uh, they're real talking every, uh, on everything. And I appreciate Zoe, you know, kind of leveling, you know, leveling that out with reason. That's why, you know, he, he's called the voice of the reason. He had to kind of remind you, be like, look, this nigga said, you know, when he first joined you, he never asked for anything. He knows, you know, you you you, you push other, you know, people, what whatever that situation was. But for Cora, for you, and for me personally, I watched both of y'all when y'all was on the Fox show. You had the core. You didn't even have your own show at the time. Zoe had his show. 
Then you you got you know you got your show or whatever you know because you know Fox on you was kind of taking over Jamie Jamie Fox shit and they were like damn we come there you know hear Corey Hogan say segment man I've been there when Low Life used to call in Soul Wonder Born Ass was there all that you know and for you come on man but if it like Corey if you don't make this shit right with Zo bro because clearly you started this shit so. If you don't make this shit right with Zoe, bruh, I'm telling you as an, one of your supporters, you're going to lose my my income. I know you say you grind, you hustle and everything. Half of your grind come from your fans. So guess what? When you're in my city, every time you come to Atlanta, I don't go to your shows anymore. And that's, that, that's big. Nigga, I spend money to get in those, some of them seats. You don't front front row the VIP seats. Whether it's Atlanta the com comedy club, you no, know, uh, you know they they get premium when certain com comedians come in there. So whether it's Atlanta comedy club, uh, before they uh move the the comedy theater to Hateville, um, nigga, uh, 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 at the Fox, nigga, those you know us us supporters of y'all, we spend big, you know we. Not to brag enough, but we spend money in those, those seats. So, my nigga, like I say, if you, Zoe being down with you from day one, we been watching. I been watching. So, if you want to, you know, just like, it's almost like, you know, you want to bite the hand that feeds you. Zoe did put you on to a lot of things. But now your true colors are coming out. And now, like, man, as I been watching... Some of the shows, a lot of times, I used to be tuned in, glued in to every 5150 show, even at work, you know. I still do from time to time, but I'm like, I notice the, 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 the atmosphere has changed. I'm like, and I wonder why. Maybe it's because of you. Some people change for the better, some people change for the worse. In this case, Core, I think just, just my knowledge and experience and just hearing you talk, I think you the problem, sir. So, Core, as a fan, I'm going to need you to look in the mirror. You got to make this shit right with Zoe. All right, y'all. This is your boy, DC The Truth. And like I say, if any of y'all watch Core Holcomb 5150, please look at this link in the description of what happened. And we're going to keep it at that, man. This is your boy, DC The Truth. I'm out. For real.